something subtle, but important, just happened inside China's naval fleet. Without major announcements, a newly upgraded version of a familiar frigate quietly entered service. At first glance, it looks similar. But look closer, and the changes reveal a broader strategy about how China is reshaping its maritime capabilities. This isn't about replacing ships. It's about evolving them, carefully, efficiently, and with long-term intent. The newly commissioned frigate Leanfin represents a refined evolution of the Type 054A, rather than a radical redesign. And that's precisely what makes it interesting. The most noticeable update is the larger 100mm main gun, replacing the older system used on earlier variants. On paper, that sounds minor. In practice, it expands the ship's operational flexibility. A larger gun offers improved reach, higher accuracy, and better adaptability across a wider range of maritime tasks, including close-range sea operations and limited shore support roles, all without changing the ship's core profile. Equally important is what's happening above the deck. The ship now features an extended flight deck and enlarged hangar, allowing it to operate a larger, more capable helicopter. Previous versions of the Type 054A were constrained by aviation space, which limited endurance and sensor coverage at sea. The new layout removes that bottleneck. By accommodating the Z-20, the ship gains greater reach for patrol, detection, and tracking missions, particularly in open ocean environments. Beyond visible hardware, several changes are embedded into the ship's systems. Official reports highlight improved radar coverage, more precise positioning, and stronger performance in complex electromagnetic conditions. These upgrades matter because modern naval operations rely less on raw power and more on awareness, coordination, and resilience. The new variant integrates sensors and onboard systems more tightly, enabling smoother information flow across platforms. What's notable is that none of these changes alter the ship's basic role. Instead, they refine it. The upgraded Type 054A remains compact, efficient, and versatile, but now operates with fewer limitations. It's a ship designed to do the same jobs as before, only with greater confidence and broader margins. Together, these refinements improve daily operations, reduce crew workload, and enhance reliability during long deployments without altering mission identity fundamentally. At first glance, the timing might seem curious. China is already developing and introducing the newer Type 054B, which is larger, more advanced, and built for extended missions. So why invest further in the Type 054A? The answer lies in fleet logic rather than technology. The Type 054B's larger size gives it longer range and enhanced endurance, but those advantages come with higher costs, longer build times, and different deployment requirements. Upgrading the Type 054A allows the PLA Navy to strengthen its existing fleet more quickly without waiting for entirely new hulls to be produced. It's a faster way to raise overall capability while maintaining numbers. There's also a practical dimension. The Type 054A is already well understood by crews, maintenance teams, and command structures. Enhancing a proven design reduces training overhead and logistical complexity. Instead of introducing an entirely new platform into every mission group, the Navy can field upgraded ships that slot seamlessly into existing operations. This approach also reflects a layered fleet strategy. Rather than relying on one perfect ship, China appears to be building a mix of platforms that complement each other. The upgraded Type 054A can handle regional tasks, fleet support roles, and routine deployments, while the Type 054B focuses on longer range or higher end missions. Together, they form a balanced system. Most importantly, this strategy avoids the trap of rapid obsolescence. Instead of retiring capable ships early, China is extending their relevance. Incremental upgrades, such as improved aviation facilities and modernized sensors, allow older designs to remain effective in a changing maritime environment. Progress, in this case, comes from refinement rather than replacement. Another benefit is flexibility in production planning. By continuing upgrades alongside new construction, shipyards can maintain steady output while adapting designs incrementally. 
This reduces industrial bottlenecks and keeps fleet development predictable and scalable. Additionally, this approach provides operational continuity. Upgraded ships can remain active while newer platforms are gradually introduced, avoiding capability gaps. This steady transition allows planning cycles, personnel training, and logistical systems to evolve in parallel, ensuring that fleet readiness improves smoothly rather than being disrupted by sudden structural shifts. Viewed individually, the upgraded Type 054A is an improved frigate. Viewed collectively, it points to something larger, a Navy focused on depth, adaptability, and continuity rather than dramatic one-off leaps. This upgrade suggests that China's naval planners value sustained capability growth over sudden transformation. One key signal is the emphasis on aviation integration, expanding the flight deck and enabling operations with the Z-20 helicopter highlights how important airborne reach has become for surface ships. Helicopters extend a vessel's awareness far beyond the horizon, allowing it to operate more independently and contribute more effectively within group deployments. By enabling this on a mid-sized frigate, China increases flexibility across its fleet. Another signal is resilience. Official descriptions emphasize improved performance in complex electromagnetic environments. That language points to an understanding that future maritime operations will be information-heavy and contested in non-physical ways. Ships that can maintain situational awareness and coordination under such conditions are more valuable than those relying solely on size or speed. The coexistence of upgraded Type 054 as a newer Type 054 BS also reflects a modular mindset. Instead of designing each ship class for a narrow purpose, China appears to be aligning multiple platforms into interoperable roles. This allows task groups to scale up or down depending on mission requirements, geography, and duration. Perhaps most telling is what this upgrade does not include. There is no attempt to radically reshape the ship or push it beyond its design limits. That restraint suggests confidence. Rather than chasing extremes, China is methodically strengthening core capabilities ship by ship, class by class. This pattern also indicates a long-term planning horizon. Instead of reacting to short-term developments, the Navy appears to be building a stable foundation that can absorb future technologies as they mature, ensuring relevance well beyond current deployment cycles. It also suggests an emphasis on adaptability over specialization. By keeping platforms flexible rather than narrowly optimized, the fleet can adjust to changing operational demands without constant redesign. The upgraded Type 054 A frigate isn't a headline-grabbing debut, and that's exactly the point. It shows how China is refining its naval capabilities through careful evolution rather than abrupt change. By improving aviation support, sensors, and onboard systems while keeping a familiar platform in service, the Navy gains flexibility without disruption. This approach highlights a clear focus on balance between new construction and modernization innovation, and reliability. In the long run, these quiet upgrades may matter just as much as entirely new ships, shaping a fleet designed to adapt, evolve, and remain effective over time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into maritime technology and global naval developments. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and you can also visit our website at spaceinews.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.